there is an oil-eating bacteria, also known as hydrocarbonoclastic bacteria. These microorganisms have the ability to degrade and utilize hydrocarbon compounds as a source of energy. One of the most well-known oil-eating bacteria is Alcanivorax borcomensis. This bacterium is particularly effective in breaking down hydrocarbons. It can thrive in marine environments where there is a high concentration of sodium ions and UV radiation. These bacteria are widely used to clean up oil spills and other petroleum-based contaminants. Bioremediation is often preferred over traditional cleanup methods because it is more eco-friendly and can be more effective in certain situations. For example, during the Deepwater Horizon oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico, marine bacteria played a significant role in degrading the oil and reducing its environmental impact. While great for helping speed up the process of cleaning up oil spills, they are not without its downside. In some cases, the rapid growth of oil-eating bacteria can deplete nitrogen and phosphorus from the environment, potentially leading to nutrient deficiencies for other organisms in the ecosystem. Many oil-degrading bacteria are aerobic, meaning they need oxygen to break down oil. When they consume oil, they consume oxygen in the surrounding water, which can lead to oxygen depletion in the immediate area. This can negatively impact other marine life that also relies on oxygen. Not all bacteria can break down all types of hydrocarbons, and some molecules are so complex that they are difficult for bacteria to digest, even with the help of surfactants. A borcomensis has an optimal growth temperature, and its activity can be reduced at very low or high temperatures. This could be a concern in colder marine environments or during seasonal temperature fluctuations. While bacteria break down oil, they may also produce intermediate compounds that are potentially toxic or persistent in the environment. These byproducts might be more harmful than the original oil. In natural environments, aborcomensis may face competition from other microorganisms for resources, potentially limiting its effectiveness in bioremediation. Introducing large quantities of bacteria into the environment can be challenging, and there's a risk of the introduced bacteria not successfully colonizing and degrading the oil. Lastly, the long-term ecological consequences of introducing aborcomensis into the environment are not yet fully understood.